Video time! This week's video! Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I was going to do a Q&A with Steve this week, however he has gone up to Scotland with Ben Brown and they are motorcycling around the top of Scotland, which is pretty exciting and probably more exciting than doing Q&A with me. So that will come next week. I thought I'd do a video today because basically my channel is nearly a year old and I thought I'd do a video today talking to you guys about my experience of YouTube, what I've learned, what I'm still learning. I realised that I've never like sat down and chatted to you guys about my experiences and what I'm feeling. I write a lot on my blog. I find it way easier to write down things than to say things. I think because I can get my head into that mode of articulating what I'm thinking, whereas when I'm speaking, Sometimes my words come out a bit muddled, but I'm gonna try my best this video. So I thought I'd start with the direction of this channel. So I started it because actually I wanted to do something with DIY and crafts. Because of my job before, which was working for a company that made film and TV props, I was like, yeah, I can do crafts and I'll make a craft channel. And my channel hasn't ended up being that at all. I love DIY and I will be putting up a DIY in a couple of weeks, which I spent quite a lot of time on. But I don't want it to be the main basis for my channel and I'm really glad that in the year of trying to figure out what the hell I'm doing with my life, I've kind of figured that out. One of the main things I found is that Steve and I have traveled a lot. I've met more people in the last year than I probably met in the six years that I was working at the prop making company. I have loved the amount of people we've met this year and the diverse amount of people we've met this year and when you travel you just kind of get used to meeting new people and accepting them into your friendship group or just learning how to talk to people that you've never met before. I used to be rubbish at that. I used to go to events with Steve and he is super extroverted, super like will chat to anyone and suddenly they're his best friend. I have no idea how he does it. It's obviously some special talent. I have learned to get better at it. I am by no means the best person at meeting new people and I will have days where I'm like yeah, I, I can't think of anything to say. Then I realised that also the person that I'm sitting with who also has not got anything to say probably maybe might be in the same position. I've definitely got more confident in that way. I've also got more confident and learned more about being on camera and I found that actually I've really enjoyed just being myself, just kind of documenting what I'm enjoying right now and hoping that other people will as well. And I'm really excited to keep doing that, I'm really excited to keep vlogging our travels, I love making travel vlogs. One, because I'm super excited to be in that place that I'm visiting anyway, I hope that comes through in my videos. Also I'm learning how to edit better, that was a big challenge, I've never edited a video before my first video. It's it's definitely a challenge but I'm loving it and I'm loving the fact that each video I've learned a little bit more about editing. I've also found that I can't force it and you just have to put the content out that you enjoy and hope that other people will enjoy it too and even if it doesn't get the views it's still getting views. People are still watching your videos and that's freaking amazing like you're making a little little tiny piece of yourself you're putting out to the world and someone's watching it and someone's connecting and someone's commenting and and I've learned that that's such an amazing thing to experience because it's like, hey, I made a connection with you and I've never met you before and you've never met me in real life, but actually, just having this conversation with you in this video or giving you a little bit of my everyday life, you can kind of relate to me and that's amazing. I've also found it really hard because on YouTube you have categories and so you're, like, you're either a beauty vlogger or a travel vlogger or a daily vlogger or I don't know, an inspirational person, a healthy eating person and I'm like, I look at myself, well I like all of those, like I like going travelling, I like beauty but I don't know if I'm any good at talking about beauty products. I've been struggling with that for a while because I'm like, I feel like I don't fit in here like I feel like I'm a bit all over the place and then I was having this conversation with Steve the other day and he was like yeah but why do you have to fit in why do you have to put yourself in a category oh uh, yeah maybe I don't have to put myself in a category maybe I'm okay just being me and quietly just putting stuff out there and the more I think about it the more that completely makes sense because I'd rather make content that I'm proud of and if it's not like other people's content then that's okay it's my content that's what I'm putting out as myself that was really valuable conversation conversation that happened in the car because I swear all the best conversations with people, with my family, with Steve, with anyone happen in the car on journeys, it's the best place. So I've kind of come to the realisation that the content that maybe I was creating, I was trying to put myself into a category. And I'll still do travel vlogs and I'll still do that but I'm going to do them my own way and just see how they go. They might bomb <laughs> but that's fine because yeah, I can't try something new without putting it out on my 
channel. You'll probably see over the next few months that I will be experimenting with what I put out. So I really want to do some fashion videos. I'm super interested in beauty and I'm super interested in traveling and I'm super interested in feminism and I really want to do some kind of chatty video about that. I wrote a blog post about feminism and I also wrote a blog post, I think I called it not just any photo. My feminist post was me saying that I'm a feminist and my view on feminism and the fact that I think the way that you can be a feminist without being like holding up picket signs and stuff like that is by celebrating other women and if someone does something successful or someone's nominated for an award or someone just does something that to them is amazing you go, hey, do you know what? I'm supporting you and I am celebrating the fact that you are excited about what you're doing and you're amazing. And I, I genuinely think that. And my not just any photo post was me exploring the fact that the photos that you see on social media are picked for social media. That's edited, that's online and it's edited. And it's an edited version of people's lives. And I think some, I needed to remind myself of this, that you're just seeing a picture that they've edited. It's not like their life was they woke out of bed and you're like, oh my God, I look amazing today. That person woke up exactly the same way as you woke up with crazy hair and no makeup on. I think sometimes it's nice to go back down to like the realness of social media. And that's why I love YouTube. You watch people who are predominantly real people and predominantly chatting about things that they like and things that they're excited about. And when I wrote those two posts, that was the direction that I wanted to take my blog in. I want it to be a positive place. I still wanna share stuff like things that make me happy and my Sunday favourites, which without fail I will put up every week even if I haven't posted a blog post because it reminds me to just celebrate the little things and celebrate the things that actually I did enjoy this week even if I had a super rubbish week. So what I'm saying is it's going to be a bit of a mixed bag from now on and I'm just going to do things that I'm interested in and I hope you guys are going to be interested in them too but I'm gonna try and not pinhole myself. So I'm just going to run through some things that I've learned this year. First thing I've learned Treat it like a job. Actually get yourself up in the morning, actually go and kick ass and, and make your day, like fill your day, plan your day and make sure you've got some direction. Take time to yourself. <laughs> I have found that I need time to think about what I'm doing and where I'm going and that is not me not working, that is me planning what I'm doing and sometimes I forget that, especially coming out of an office job and just being at home or at Steve's office, I need to remind myself that just because I'm not producing work physically, I still have to plan the work, so that's a good one. Keep going. A couple of times I've been like, is this for me? Is this what I wanna do? And do you know what? I probably still don't know, but I'm really enjoying it right now and I think that's the main thing. Definitely keep going. And if you're passionate and it's still making you happy, then just keep going at it and see what happens and that's definitely what I've done. I've learned more by doing that than just falling at the first hurdle and being like, well I can't do this because I can't edit this video. And then I'm like, yes I can edit this video, it's just gonna take me a lot longer than other people who've been doing it for a while, but that's okay. I'd say ignore views, ignore likes, ignore stats on your website. Just keep producing the content that you wanna keep producing. If people like it, they'll read it. And if not, you're producing content that you, you're passionate about and you're proud of, that will shine through. And I think that is a key thing to do. And I think that's it. <laughs> oh, that was really chatty. Maybe too chatty? I don't know. But we've got some super exciting things coming up. I am now back at our flat. We were out of our flat for three weeks and we've had it newly decorated. We're gonna try and sort out something between our two channels about taking you guys through the flat, basically, and showing you what you've had done. Because I'm super interested in interiors, and so Steve, and we have found a few places that you can find really nice interior pieces that aren't crazy expensive, but also pieces that you can save up for, which is what we've done around the flat. In a couple of weeks time, we're going traveling. We haven't picked where we're going yet. And I just wanted to put this video out to you guys to be like, hey, how you doing? And to go, this is what I've been doing. You might be going through it too, but in a different industry. But I just want to remind you, you're amazing. And to keep going, because I have to keep reminding myself that, that you just got to keep going and you got to be passionate about it and you got to be driven and you will get somewhere. I really do believe in that and I want my channel to be a really positive place where people come and they feel inspired or empowered, just generally entertained 
by what is happening here. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like, and if you are not subscribed, please subscribe. I love everyone that subscribes. I am aiming to do one video a week, and I would love it if you guys wanna see anything from me to leave a little note in the comments just to let me know what you wanna see on this channel. I have lots of ideas, super exciting ones, and I'm really, really pumped to actually get out and do stuff and do something a little bit different. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed today's video and I'm gonna stop talking now, so goodbye! <laughs>